I want to talk to you about something that might seem a little unconventional at first, but as you know, the unconventional has always been my area of expertise. So allow me to introduce to you, or rather, reintroduce to you, the VHS tape as a high quality format for music consumption and recording. You might be wondering why I'm talking about something that's been long forgotten. After all, we've come so far in the world of technology with streaming services, digital downloads, and high quality audio formats, but that's precisely the point. We've become so lost in the digital world that we've forgotten the charm and the beauty of physical formats. And you know, this might be a little extreme, but it's time we rediscovered the beauty that's within the VHS tape. In this video, I'll be explaining why this would be even relevant for you. I will be creating my own mixtape using a VHS tape and hi-fi stereo VCR and reporting back my findings and opinions on the sound quality. Now, let me explain why VHS tapes can be an incredible medium for music. First and foremost, VHS tapes offer a unique listening experience. Unlike digital formats, which can be considered cold and clinical, VHS tapes are said to have a a warmth and character to them that is often associated with other analog formats. The subtle distortions and imperfections in the sound create a sense of nostalgia and emotion that digital formats simply cannot replicate. This makes listening to music on VHS tapes a truly immersive and organic experience. Secondly, the VHS tape offers a tangible connection to the music. In today's world of intangible digital files, we have lost the physical connection we once had with our music. Holding a VHS tape in your hands, you could feel the weight of the music and the artistry that went into creating your own custom mix. It becomes a shared experience between the artists and you, the listener, a bond that transcends the boundaries of time and space. Granted, it's not a medium that you would associate with music, more so an 80s action flick. <laughs> However, the technology is there. It can be used for music recording, and from this infographic, I discovered they can sound very close to CD quality. You have to make sure you pick up a VCR that says Hi-Fi Stereo, otherwise the quality will be a lot different and not in a good way. VHS players and tapes can still be acquired from online storefronts like Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace, as well as more than available at your local charity shops, garage sales estate sales. I have seen VHS players sell for as little as a few dollars because to the masses they are dated and irrelevant. The total opposite for a music lover. As Fidelity fanatics, we are constantly looking for strange new ways to enjoy the music we love, no matter how unusual. The fact that you can acquire everything you need for this project for under 50 bucks makes this very cheap hi-fi friendly. Now, the process of recording music on VHS tapes is also an art form in itself. With VHS, you must be more thoughtful and deliberate about what you record, as you can't simply just delete or rearrange tracks like you can with digital formats and devices. This encourages a deeper connection with the music and fosters a greater appreciation for the effort and craftsmanship that goes into creating your own personal mixtape. So I got this Sony VHS recorder from my buddy Galoosh and found some brand new old stock Maxwell Hi-Fi VHS tapes for about 20 bucks for four of them. I can't emphasize this part enough. When you get a VCR, make sure it comes with a remote control. It'll make setting things up so much easier. If you can't find one, don't worry. Amazon has some great universal remotes at affordable prices. I'll put a link in the description below so you can easily find one that works for you. I have an older Adcom preamp, so I decided to use its tape out, which is like a rec out option. So in case you don't know what a record output or rec out on an integrated amp or preamp is, it's a pretty cool feature. It lets you send an unaltered audio signal to external devices for recording, processing, or even multi-room audio. For this little project, I connected the tape out to the VCR using generic RCA cables. That way I could record music without any changes from the preamp. So even if I adjust the volume or tone controls, it won't mess with the recording. It's a handy feature for obscure projects like these. Once I connected the VCR to the preamp, I hooked up the VCR's audio output to the tape input on the preamp so I could listen to my recordings after they were finished. Just remember, you'll need RCA cables for all these connections, so be sure to have a few handy before diving into this project. Once everything was connected, I opened up one of my new old tapes and started recording some of my favorite songs from my CD collection. Sure, 
I could have probably record from my streaming devices, but I'm not sure about the legalities, so I played it safe with CDs. After recording a few tracks, I played them back. Wow! Tight, 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 yeah! I was blown away. You know, on paper, it might not match CD quality, but it's got this amazing warmth of analog and the crisp details of the CD. It's just beautiful. And here's the crazy part. I'm using generic RCA cables, nothing fancy, nothing expensive, and it still sounds almost as good as the $3,000 CD player it was recorded from. I mean, you would not believe it was a Sony VCR if you actually didn't see it for yourself. The quality of the sound is just astonishing. It had this just smooth sound to it. If this is just a taste of what reel to reel can provide, then I might have to climb down that rabbit hole someday. The only downside is that storing a whole music collection on VHS tapes would take up a lot of space. Sure, the two hour recording option is nice, but you'd have to get a, you know pretty creative with your storage. But think about this, you could make some awesome generational mixtapes, like the best of the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and so on. Or even better, record your vinyl records onto VHS so you can kick back and enjoy the music without having to flip records, thanks to the two hour playback time. Perhaps the most compelling reason to embrace VHS tapes for music consumption is the sense of community they foster. In a world where we've become increasingly isolated by technology, the act of sharing and trading VHS tapes can bring people together. The joy of discovering new music, the thrill of unearthing a rare find, and the satisfaction of storing your music on a format you never considered an option that actually sounds really, really, really good are all experiences that VHS tapes can facilitate. The VHS tape is more than just a relic from the past. It is a medium that offers a unique and personal connection to music, a connection that has been lost in our digital age. By embracing VHS tapes as a format for music consumption and recording, we can rediscover the beauty of the physical format, the artistry behind the music, and the sense of community that comes with it. Let's not forget our roots. Let's celebrate the VHS tape and all that it represents. And most importantly, let's continue to seek out and cherish the unconventional, the innovative, and the beautiful in our world. If you end up trying this project yourself or have done it already, leave some comments below. I wanna hear about it. Tell me your story. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to fatally attack the like button, Fatality. subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to get notified whenever I put out fresh new content, which actually has been pretty frequently recently. So with all that said and done, I'll see you on the next one.